Mic check, mic check. Hello, beautiful people. What's up? Well, I'd like to entail this... I don't know what I'll call it. Maybe I'll call it spooks. Maybe I'll call it somebody watching me. Maybe I'll call it, hey, Nazi, CIA, what's up? Well, basically, this is a nice little talk going out to all those government narcs, spooks, agents that are everywhere because they're looking for terrorists. Well, yesterday I did some things that might upset our president, Barry, Obama. I don't give a fuck about Obama, okay? Basically, he's a British citizen. I've known this because of my fourth cousin, who is a Nuwabian Moor CIA operative, who educated me when I lived in Europe. And yes, he was on the, also on the Trilateral Commission. And yes, he did go to Romania when the Trilateral Commission, commission met in Romania. So he informed the Romanian government of a lot of things about me and my family that I didn't even know. And he's dead today. So I'm making this video to shut all those haters up. Okay? So basically what I did was I posted on my ex-formers a picture of Barry's Columbia University ID, which has him as a foreign student. I know people are going to say, oh, that's fake. That's not real. It is very real. I got it from a dead CIA operative who on his Facebook was talking so much shit to Barry, which was actually a friend of his. And actually, I will say when I lived in Paris, there was a rumor that Michelle was going to leave Barry and a certain specific CIA agent started dating Michelle in secret Barry so let's not talk about that let's talk about the things I put up on my ex formers page because they're very real then that there's a black and white picture of Kissinger Bush Sr. I mean, all of these big, 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 heavy, hard-hitter Freemasons at a football game, an all-white football game. And in this picture, you see a little baby Barry. It's very real, okay? Now, for any government agent, they're probably wondering, how the fuck did I get this? I got it from your own goddamn Nazi CIA organization. Then there's another picture that actually tells you why Barry spent like $2 million to hide his past because he's of British descent. He's not American. He legally cannot be our president. But I guess he can be the president of a Nazi corporation run by the Blue Lodge because he swore to the Prince Hall All Black Mason Lodge that is ran by the Blue Lodge that is recognized by the Blue Lodge. And he's also, actually also Muslim, okay? So let me give you a little background of my history. And you can, after you listen to this, you can tell if I'm paranoid or I'm just the shit. Now... <clears throat> I have had several members in my family. Things happened to them. They came up missing. My girlfriend in Romania came up missing. Her body was found in Russia. Actually, a few, actually about a month and a half, two months after I spent time at my friend Robert's house, me and her. Now, Robert's father... The Colonuses. Robert's father is a Templar, also with Cove, whatever that is. Robert told me Cove fights um, the Illuminati, but from what I've learned, it's all bullshit because he told me it was a Cove website that he sent me to, and it was writings about Stalin 
and Henry Ford and comparing how these men's um, teachings and what they stood for got blown out of proportion. Well, um, excuse me, uh, didn't the communist movement get first started by the Illuminati and then it didn't work in Russia and then they went to Germany and started the socialist movement? And then Henry Ford, I mean, come on, Freemason Nazi. Okay, so Robert's father used to be the head of the Russian Secret Service. This was my so-called shadow or whatever, the person that kind of protected me, but not really, kind of acted like he was there, but not really. I mean, a lot of stuff that he did didn't really make any sense, but he actually expected me to be stupid. So that was in Romania after my girlfriend came up missing and her body ended up in Russia. Hmm. Go figure. So it took me two years to find out actually what happened. And it was a big thing with, you know, the female cartel and Russia and import exportation of women to France and all throughout Europe because that's what they do to beautiful Romanian women. It's a custom. So then I really got exposed and learned a lot about Nika Geru, the guy that owns Fashion TV Romania, and Fashion TV in general, how the two owners of Fashion TV originally, the original owners are Ukrainian, and they were into the female cartel and prostitution. So after this, you can really start to see um, the whole big picture what I got into in Romania, my whole eight years of being out of America. Now, the reason why I left America, now let me tell you how I grew up, okay? I grew up with the real fucking mafia. I grew up being watched by the FBI and CIA. Not that I really did anything that bad, and actually, me and my friends started the rave scene here in Texas. Back in the day. It was a junglist. So even before that, when I was young, my best friend, I'll say his, his name is Alex, my homeboy, my best friend growing up. His father had a car shop where he serviced the Mexican Mafia's cars, also had a restaurant where the Mexican Mafia went and ate. That was my best friend growing up. Wait, you, you think the FBI and the CIA didn't know that? Then my other friend, Chris, who I'd always protect, who always had a big mouth, blonde hair, blue-eyed kid, his father raped him. His father was a pedophile. His father was the son of a relocated Nazi that worked at NASA. Do you think the CIA and the Nazis didn't know that? Well, it was my mother that was responsible for getting Chris's father fired from his job at NASA because she told other mothers what was going on at her house because she was getting a lot of disturbances sometimes at 2 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 3 o'clock. Chris would come over because his dad would get home from being drunk and Chris would run out of his second story window in his apartment and come to my house and ask if he could sleep there. While me and him spent about an hour or two talking about what his father did to him. So my mother would stay up and listen and talk to. And then, you know, she'd be tired at work and people would be like, what's going on? Da, 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 da. And then she finally told somebody. Then you know how women are. It got all around work. And then all those women worked in the neighborhood. And it got everywhere that Chris's father was a pedophile and raping his son. Mainly when he'd go out to bars and get drunk with the other men. And he'd come home and want to fuck his son. Do you think the CIA didn't know that? Do you think the FBI didn't know that? So then let me tell you about my friend Devin. He looked like Jim Morrison. He lived beneath me because I lived in a in a complex 
at a two-story, four-bedroom home. But Devin lived under me. Okay, I'll be honest. He made acid. Okay? In his home. His mother was a hippie. So, he gave a 17-year-old girl her first set of acid. She wrote about the experience in her diary. Her mother found the diary. And her mother's brother was FBI. So then the FBI started watching me and Devin. Anytime me and Devin would go and walk around the neighborhood, there'd be this black car. So I remember this one day when Devin said, see that car? See those plates? That's an FBI car. And I said, ah, oh, dude, you're paranoid. You're full of shit. And he looked at me with a straight face. He said, whatever. He walked up to the car, told me, he went to the front of the car, pointed out how you can tell it's an FBI car with the specific government plates and shit. And then walked around to the window to the guy and asked him, why are you following me? What do you want? The FBI agent turned red, rolled up his window and drove off. I looked at Devin like he was God. I was just like, damn, that was some dope shit. He's like, man, don't fear them. They fear the truth. So that's why I'm doing this video. So then let me talk about my friend Joanne, the girl I was in love with for like four or five years growing up. She was my best friend. Joanne's father was the head of the Sicilian Italian Mafia from Sicilia, Italy. They didn't, they weren't really too cool that me and Joanne were so close. Actually, her mother hated when I called the house when she found out I was black. But anyways, this was a girl that I was in love with and probably would have married if she hadn't gotten with a Freemason who actually ended up killing someone in a car accident when they went out drinking. So she stayed with this Freemason Luciferian bitch for two years because that's how long it took for his Nazi Freemason father to get him off of this case. He weaseled his way into her house. A Freemason. So you think the FBI and the CIA didn't know that? They killed her father with cancer. I was there. I won't forget it. It was one of the most depressing times in both of our lives. Because my sister had cancer and her father was dying of it. We got very close. But oh no, the Freemasons can't have that. Can't have an Italian Sicilian mafia princess in love with me. A DJ in the rave scene on his way up, send in the Freemason son. So, that's how I grew up. You think the CIA and the FBI haven't been watching me since I was a kid? Well, here's the kepper on this nice video, okay? When I was 14 years old in junior high school because I went out to Club FX and I was known as one of the best dancers in Houston, Texas. I knew a lot of Asian Mafia because that's who ran A-Leaf. That's who ran all the gangster shit here in Texas, the Filipinos. So I learned from my principal after I got sent to the office because I was hanging out with the wrong crowd, he asked me, what is it that I do? How can I end up on the police list of people to watch? And I said, what? What do you mean the police list of people to watch? He said, the police told me, they specifically called my principal and told him to watch me and keep them informed about me, my principal. When I was 14 years old, 
They told him that I was on the Asian Gangster Task Force list. That is people that are considered to be known gang members that the cops watch and have on the list. I was on that list at the age of 14, according to my principal, and he asked me, what was it that I do to get on this list? I said nothing, and he said, be honest. What do you do on the weekends? I said, I go out and dance. Club FX, and he said, isn't that a -Lee? And he said, sat back in his chair and he said, oh. He said, are you sure that's all you do is dance? You shouldn't be going to clubs. You're only 14. And I said, yeah, I just go and dance. Everyone drinking, smoking around me and stuff. But he said, oh, okay. I love to dance. So if you're a good dancer, considered one of like the second, third best in the club, Everybody gonna know you. Everybody wants to hang out with you. Everybody wants to talk to you. This is how it was growing up from till I was like 22. So I got to meet a lot of real Asian gangsters. I hung out at the, in front of the club talking to a real lot of Asian gangsters where they were cool to me. Always got me a free juice because I never drink. I was cheap. I still don't drink. So the FBI and CIA guys watching these guys outside the club taking pictures of them. Obviously, they're like, who is this? How does he know this person and this person and this person and this person and the friend Chris Operation Paperclip relocated CIA Nazis' son? How big is my file, CIA, FBI? How much do you know about my family? How easy was it to replace family members? When did you really decide to off my CIA cousin Ernest, my fourth cousin? That was part of the trilateral commission that was basically telling all you motherfuckers to fuck off. I am Z-A-K-A-O-S. Now you know a little bit about my history and who you listening to and really... Who got the goods? Make it understood. Love and light. Have a beautiful week. Peace. Mic check, mic check. Hello, beautiful people. What's up? Well, I'd like to entail this, I don't know what I'll call it, maybe I'll call it spooks, maybe I'll call it somebody watching me, maybe I'll call it, hey Nazi, CIA, what's up? Well, basically, this is a nice little talk, going out to all those government narcs, a Nuwabian Moor CIA operative who educated me when I lived in Europe, and yes, he was on the, also on the Trilateral Commission, and yes, he did go to Romania when the Trilateral commission, commission met in Romania. So, he informed the Romanian government of a lot of things about me and my family that I didn't even know. And he's dead today. Spooks, agents, that are everywhere because they're looking for terrorists. Well, yesterday I did some things that might upset our President Barry, Obama. I don't give a fuck about Obama, okay? Basically, he's a British citizen. I've known this because of my fourth cousin who is... I got it from a dead CIA operative who on his Facebook was talking so much shit to Barry, which was actually a friend of his, and actually, I will say, when I lived in Paris, there was a rumor that Michelle was going to leave Barry, and a certain specific CIA agent 
started dating Michelle in so I'm making this video to shut all those haters up okay so basically what I did was I posted on my ex formers a picture of Barry's Columbia University ID which has him as a foreign student I know people are gonna say oh that's fake that's not real it is very real 